Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time Pro Bowler as well, Kyler Murray. He and Arizona came together on a hefty contract extension before last season, but injuries, well, they caused everyone to take a step backwards last year. But when healthy, Kyler Murray, still a big play waiting to happen on every snap. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. To throw is Murray. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. And nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws. But he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Murray. Buying time to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Now they run the option on second down, and he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Murray to Moore for the Cardinal first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. 
Murray now running left off the option and holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. Well, he'd had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Throwing now is Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now third down and six to go. For this defense, CD, and going up against Kyler Murray here, what's the secret to keeping him in check? <laughs> Having better athletes than him, which is really unrealistic. So I go way back in football. They used to have a coverage called the umbrella coverage with four defenders back deep. Now you want to try and move that umbrella up front with Kyler. Touchdown, Cardinals! Trey McBride, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cardinals are on the board first here this afternoon. And that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford, the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. A big pickup of 38. Usually in this spot, you'd hear an offensive coordinator saying, don't feel like you've got to get this all back at once. But here, they give up the opening touchdown and say, no time like the present to show what we can do, too. And that's big yardage on their initial play from scrimmage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now a play fake it at Stafford. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Stafford looks to throw again. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play.
So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now, they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when they decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. From the 46, here's second and a yard. Play action. Now it's Murray. Steps away. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. The Cardinals on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at third and a few inches. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 40. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. Moore, the man in motion. Murray now on first down. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's got leak out of the backfield to his right and then angle his way up the field. And a really pretty throw to put it on him and create the big play downfield. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first and ten, here's Murray. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. Can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. 
Running right on the option is Murray. A nice display of powerful running, but it takes him only to the seven. He's dropped there. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Murray now. Touchdown! Rondale Moore, a seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Crater on and the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that one, an eight-play drive that spans 75 yards. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Complete pass. Here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Pretty good little two play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll come up now, third and nine. Stafford now to throw. He goes underneath to Freeman. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Greg George, deep for Arizona. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. The following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Murray now to throw.
And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. First down, Murray. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. now on first down and he's going to lose a yard or two taken down behind the line the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half after the sack here second and 11 Here's Murray from midfield. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Here's Murray. And a completion to Wilson. And they're going to have a first down and also well into field goal range all the way down to the 15 here. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Touchdown, Cardinals! And the Michael Wilson, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts 
as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. First and ten, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Throwing a Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we reach halftime here in... Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. set to receive the second half kickoff and they trail here as we resume play and a decent return out to the 27 yard line the LA offense ready to go for their next drive and you have to think Charles down three scores already they need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance and that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Here's second and seven. Now Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. And they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Connor going to get it again on second down. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. 
Murray going to try to throw on third down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. That's complete to McBride. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Murray as he sets to throw it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Murray going to throw. Flush to it. Murray fighting. Lost the football. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Back to throw. Murray eluding the pressure right. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. And this is a rarity in the NFL, a 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen, and of course, a special player. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Prater's kick is good, and the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. to three. So three more points tacked on at this margin, getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And 
as you well know in today's NFL if the passing game isn't working usually not much else is working either exactly right about that partner and I know that right now the easy answer would be oh he tries to force it in and it's intercepted So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the... And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner taking it in from a yard out. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. You think about James Conner down near the goal line, and you think about the 2021 season with his 15 touchdown runs. He believes he's as good as anybody down close, and he powers his way in here. Now Prater to add the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, C.D., and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That'll be caught. It's Cup. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. Set, blue 16. Here we go, D, get off the field. 44 to Mike, 44 to Mike. This is Freeman on first and 10. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down at Stafford. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Stafford and that throw behind his man he missed him incomplete 
They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The Rams on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. zone now Stafford he gets this into the hands of Cup once again and the Rams are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five and with this game well in hand perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down but well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it he doesn't want to give up any soft completions no late points he wants this lead to stay right where it is and it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 two -two Atwell. A five-yard touchdown. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit the defense and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On first and 10 is Connor. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker 
and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and the lead will hold at three touchdowns. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Off of play action, here's Stafford. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now it's Stafford. Going up top for Cup. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth. Stafford, he's going to let it go again. And this one is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. That keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. So it's 
a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yep. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just